Appreciate you guys for tuning in today's video. A couple videos ago, I did a little Amazon haul. Kind of just randomly showed you guys what I ordered from Amazon. And surprisingly, a lot of you guys were interested. Um, just because it's like stuff I usually don't typically film. But uh, we got more stuff from Amazon. I've been doing this honestly recently and I've heard that Amazon actually sells some pretty good clothes. I've been needing some freaking pants. Uh, I'm huge into cargos now, like baggy cargos. One of my close friends actually put me onto these, so I'm gonna put you guys onto some cargos. Got myself a black pair. I think these are like 40 bucks. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. I got the camo ones on too. Dude, these are so fire. I love these. I've been like really into like baggy cargos now. Dude, they have so many different colors too. But uh, check it out. These are like super baggy and they're really long. Um, I don't know. I've just been liking like super long cargos with like high tops kind of vibe. These are sick. What do you guys think? 40 bucks too. Straight from Amazon. I literally got them like the next day overnight. They also come with a little strap too. So you can like tighten it from the inside. A better view. What do you guys think? These are sick, bro. I Honestly, my favorite pants today right now. <laughs> Very few pants that I actually like. But these are... For sure, my favorite pair right now. As you can see, I'm rocking the new STIT. Friday, April 5th, we're dropping these t-shirts in black as well with the STI skate deck. So not too sure what time yet, but I'll go ahead and put it right here on the screen, guys. So set those reminders, follow both my Instagram and the brand page. But let's go ahead and try on the black ones. Dude, the quality on these is actually sick. So it's actually not Amazon brand. This is the brand right here, Match. Fire. There's like so many pockets too, which I like. Just like that. Yeah, these are tough. Favorite pants to date, honestly. Shout out to the bro for putting me on these Amazon pants, but I'm gonna be rocking these. I'm probably gonna order like four or five different pairs, <laughs> every single color. But yeah, for reference, I am 6'1", and I'm wearing a size 34 right now. But yeah, hella random, but I know for a fact a lot of you guys wear cargo pants. Just wanted to put you guys on if you guys need some new pants. Sheesh. Check it out. We got all the merch in these boxes. We got the black tees. We got the one I'm wearing right now, the cream one. Hard choice, honestly. Such a hard choice between the two, as well as the new STI skate decks. So glad we brought these skate decks back. Uh, a couple months ago, we did the FRS ones right there. Speaking of the FRS ones, these are going to be restocked as well, but just 10 of them. Super limited. I'm going to be signing. I'm going to be numbering each deck, so it's kind of like a collector's item. Last drop, the FRS ones sold out in less than one minute, so I'm not even joking. They're going to go so fast, so be sure to follow my Instagram and set those reminders. I'm probably going to take these to the shop right now and individually number and sign them right now and i honestly want to build a full complete i might hit up like zoomies and buy some trucks and wheels and i want to make a full board complete with one of the decks i used to skateboard so i don't know just that satisfaction of like completing a deck you know with wheels and everything is so satisfying so i kind of want to do that today all right we just made it to the shop we got all of these skate decks right here I got a little surprise for my neighbor He's been asking for some merch and he loves the 2022 BRZ, the purple one. So I'm gonna give him some merch. I actually had one laying around in his size of the STI and the BRZ shirt, so. You guys remember this one? Throwback. Hey bro. What's up? I got something for you. What's up? I got your t-shirt. My what, bro? It's the t-shirt. Oh, thank you, bro. I got you. Color black, my favorite color. Yeah? Man. Is your black your favorite color? Yeah. These are microfibers too. Oh, he's nice. See, like, with my logo. Ah, so I got red. Man. Let me see, bro. And then yellow. Oh, yeah. nice. So bro, it's a yellow. For cleaning out your car. Yeah, the, the, anything. The car for detail. Anything, bro, yeah. And yeah, then the I, yellow. It's, it's super high quality. Let me see, brother. <laughs> You're large, right? Yeah, large. Yeah? Yeah, he's been wanting some merch, so I got him hooked up. Let me see, let me see. Oh, it's perfect, bro. We got oh, the PRG. yeah. <laughs> This is your favorite car, huh? The purple yeah, the one? Red. The, the purple red one? and this is yeah. the three, but, but STI, not bad. Yeah. I like it, bro. Thank, thank yeah, you. Dude. Thank Got you. you. Thank Guys, you. he wants me to buy this. He's actually fixing it up. He said it's been sitting a little bit of rust. It's for like my friend is super nasty guy. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't take care of it? <laughs> yeah, bro, he's nasty. My, my, my friend is nasty. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's like been sitting by the beach, so it's like a lot of rust. Yeah. Like right here, you can kind of see it. But guys, should I get it? I've been wanting to get a dirt bike or a quad, and he said it's like a good starter bike, so. Bro. Good deal. I'm ready, bro. This or, or this, bro? You <laughs> told me this or this. 
<laughs> Touch it. <laughs> he wants to go off roading. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take all the bikes out. Yeah. This in and the quad. Damn. Yeah. We we might have a little off road day next one, week. One day. This for you. Bro. <laughs> this this no, is for you. No, this is for uh, <laughs> this is for Jason. Oh yeah. <laughs> for, Jason, for my friend Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go find one. I'm here to for you. Here you <laughs> bro, what the heck? And the uh, double brakes, that's it. <laughs> it's small. So, yeah, bro, it's perfect for you. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? Nah. <laughs> hey, it's perfect for you. It's slow. Yeah, it's slow. Look, this car is sick for me. You like the SCI, huh? Yeah, I like it. You like I, the I, I like everything, bro. This <laughs> car, I like everything. Wheels, everything. So this, this, this is the the full exhaust? Yeah, titanium. Damn, bro. Hey, one day, one day you drive it if you want. You drive oh, really? Drive yeah, let's go, bro. <laughs> let's go. All right, enough messing around. We're going to start numbering each of the decks. I think what I'm going to do for the format, do one out of... 10, we'll do signature, March 29th. So, 0, 3, 29, 24. I think I'm gonna do that format. That's what I did for the last job. But yeah, this is gonna take quite a while, so we'll put you guys on the time lapse. I got about 50 skate decks to do, so let's get to work. really hungry right now. I haven't really ate much today, so I think I'm gonna link up with Henri. We're gonna grab some tacos. Gonna hop in the FRS. I feel like driving the FRS today. I've been driving the STI a lot because it's always a vibe. It's Friday. I feel like it's just perfect day to take out the FRS. The weather is freaking perfect outside. It's Friday, so let's take out the FRS. Had her tacos, dude. It's been so freaking long since I had those. Your belly hurts? My stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts? Uh, right now, we're actually headed to the mall. I need to buy some trucks and wheels for a deck because I really want to put one together, kind of for a reel and for a video, just for like kind of like marketing and promo for the decks that we're about to drop. It's honestly been a very long time since I've bought skateboard parts, so I'm not sure how much it is. Let's see who gets the closest. I'm gonna say like 120. So I need. 120 <laughs> so we need trucks need wheels trucks, hardware bearings. bearings and grip tape that's it <laughs> 120 with for everything i think 126 you guys already know we had to stop at our favorite spot you about to buy one bro <laughs> if you find one yeah, this is where we get all our fitted. All the freaking Pajis hats. No pickups today. They got no fire fitteds. I don't know what it was. None in stock, huh? Next time. Come next time. Dookie. Usually we walk away with like two hats, but that didn't happen today. I can't believe I just spent 120 bucks. On skateboard stuff I'll probably never use. <laughs> Literally just for like a reel and maybe still a few pictures, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just enjoying the view. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking about life. All right guys, we made it back to the shop. We got our little zoomies run. So we got everything we pretty much need for a full complete. We got some Jessup grip tape, some trucks, got some Bones wheels, 
a little T tool, reds bearings, and then last but not least, some independent hardware. Everything you pretty much need for a full complete. Honestly, it was like super freaking nostalgic, like buying all this stuff, cause I used to skate a lot when I was like a little kid, like elementary school, a little bit in middle school. And uh, I don't know, just like seeing all this stuff again in person, like I just remember clearly like a long time ago when I was a kid, like just buying stuff like this. Exact ones, like the reds, the wheels and stuff. I remember I couldn't freaking afford independent chucks because these used to be like super freaking expensive. So I always opted out for like cheap ones, but it's so cool like getting some independent chucks. <laughs> Guys, this is bringing back so many memories right now. <laughs> I feel like this is the most fun part is gripping a skateboard. Like kind of like, um, I don't know what you call it, like forming the edges and then using a razor to like cut it. It's just so satisfying, I'll show you guys right now, but literally I've been waiting to do this for like so long. We got Henri behind the scenes. If you guys see the reel I post on my Instagram, it's gonna be him, this right here. He's kind of like <laughs> behind the scenes, he's filming it. <laughs> Alright, a little update. I got the grip tape line er lined up. <laughs> Laid down. Not too bad. I could maybe trim it right there a little bit, but A plus. I don't think I have any air bubbles. Progress so far, we got the trucks. And we're working on the wheels and the bearings. And I feel like aside from the grip tape, this is one of the most satisfying parts is pressing these bearings into the wheels. Now if you guys don't <laughs> now, if you guys don't skateboard and don't know what I'm talking about, um, there is two of these bearings on each side of the wheel. Uh, so this is pretty much a completed wheel. We got one on this side and then one on the other. And this is pretty much what makes the wheel spin. So you have to press each of these ones in. So typically what people do is they put it on the truck. You just put the wheel over it. And then it's pressed in like that. <laughs> so we get the other one, and then I flip the wheel over the other side. Just like that. It's so satisfying, we really love doing that. Yeah, all that's left, Let's put the wheel on. Is that all the way pressed? Oh, there. <laughs> Trucks come with like this little washer, put it over, put the nut over, tighten it. What's like the correct like width? Or, I mean, not width, like it's like a little bit of wiggle. Yeah. What's like this? Is this good? Yeah, that's fine. That's good? I don't need it tighter? Oh, that's fine. Let's tighten it all the way so the wheel doesn't No, it's not <laughs> Damn. So, meaty got, wheel. I know, meaty fitment, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Flesh fitment. <laughs> we got white wheels on the skateboard, white wheels on the car, white wheels on my feet. <laughs> Bro, it's something like, so satisfying about a fresh, complete, brand new, untouched. I should start skating again. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's skate again, bro. No? <laughs> All right, well, here it is, guys. Just finished the entire complete. What do you guys think? Something about just a fresh, completed skateboard. Pretty much everything on it. I doubt, honestly, like people who purchase this, I doubt they're gonna actually like use the decks like for a real skateboard i don't know maybe a few of you guys will but like i said it's more of like a collector's piece but hey if you want to this is what it looks like fully completed with trucks wheels and everything so i'm honestly pretty happy with it first time completing a board in like a super long time but i don't know like i said it's nostalgic brings back a lot of memories because i used to always skateboard appreciate you for filming the reel <laughs> Five tries on nose manual from here, this line, all the way to the end. You think I can do it? I believe you can do anything, bro. Anything you put your mind to. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Two more.
you? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard this song? Who is it by? Right You've never heard this song? Is it Trap Soul? No. Oh, yeah. What do we, what do we just do? Bro. What do we just do? We about to get some thump. <laughs> what is that? Battle speakers. Right, right. we just picked up a 12 inch sub for the FRS. This might be crazy. Damn. Um, I used to have, I mean, if, if you guys are like OGs of the channel, I may have showed it a couple times, but um, I had two 10s in the FRS and I got that installed like six years ago from Best Buy. And funny enough, I actually broke both of those subwoofers because of a few videos I've done on the channels. I used to do a lot of like POV driving in like the rain stuff and a couple times when I would be like sliding, the subwoofer slid and on the tail light studs or whatever you call them, it punctured the sub on each side. So two of them were blown so I kind of just removed it from the car um, ever since SEMA because I had to redo the whole trunk setup for SEMA. Now we got one 12 inch sub and it's like a super was it like a shallow box yeah yeah it's like a, a, a smaller box I, I think i'm gonna put it in the back seat this time so all the wiring is in there all i gotta do is just plug in a new sub um and that's about it so we're about to do that today i'm super freaking excited because i haven't had subs in that car for a while this is the old one so this was a huge box so i had the two tens like i said this used to be in the trunk and now with my current air suspension setup it can work, but honestly, I want to keep my trunk space, so I haven't put this back. So this one, it's more of like a like a slim box, as you can see. Uh, so I plan to put this probably in the back seat. Like I said, I want to keep my trunk space. Nobody goes back there, so I'm just gonna put this probably behind the driver's seat. I had to stop at LNL real quick. Damn, bro. Munching. <laughs> got the barbecue plate. I got chicken katsu, y'all. Yeah. For all the Filipinos out there, you guys know what this is. Fire. Fire, this is for dessert. <laughs> um, this is obviously not gonna be like a detailed like how to install, I guess like all the wiring and like a full system. I'm literally just plugging it into the original wiring that's already in the car. Maybe sometime in the future, I definitely wanna do a full system on the BRZ or the STI. So I feel like that video will probably be like in depth, like how to do like a subwoofer system install. Like I said, this one is just gonna be like plugging it into the wiring already in the car. Yeah, so. This thing's heavy. This is a comparison. So, this is my old box with the two tens, and then this is a new one. One 12 inch. Always wanted to run a 12 inch, but this is more obviously shallow. Should be sick. <laughs> but I'm, I'm curious about how it sounds. Dude, I hope it hits. The audio shop, they low-key showed us what this sounds like, but it was in a truck. But dude, this sounded freaking, it hit, hit. So, I'm excited. Let's go and plug this in. Wiring, electrical stuff, it's foreign to me. This stuff is so confusing, but I want to learn one day. Did you hear what it sounds like from the outside? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's in the back seat, so the trunk doesn't rattle that much, which is actually good. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> One last look at the subwoofer. Go behind the seat. We got the massive 12. <laughs> I didn't get that much sound clips, but I just want to show you guys the new kicker 12 behind the driver's seat. Honestly, it made such a big difference, especially from stock. I feel like stock Subaru speakers are trash. Like, I really feel like the WRX and the STI speakers are literally the worst of the worst. The FRS ones are pretty bad. They're pretty down there, but dude, the WRX and the STI ones are terrible i'm glad that we i hope you can't see it but glad that we put the sub back in it sounds way better than before um after hearing what a full system sounds like at the audio shop in this one truck that they showed us i definitely want to upgrade the frs more uh so i think i'm gonna look into door speakers and also a head unit i wanted to ask you guys what head unit should we run 
on the FRS. What's a good one that pairs, you know, with a good audio system? Also, excuse this thing. <laughs> this thing looks... Oh my gosh. This thing is like an old freaking phone mount. Excuse this. I literally just broke it right now, so I should really take this off. Anyways, disregard this. What head unit should we run in this car? I want to run a head unit because it does make the sound quality much better. I still have the stock one in, so I definitely need to swap this out. Um, so I'm open to any recommendations on good head units for the FRS, you know, Apple CarPlay, all the good stuff. I'll be reading the comments down below. Before we end off today's video, I wanted to remind you again, once again, that I will be in Arizona this upcoming weekend. Um, of April 5th. We are meeting up with the boys from Low Glow. They are having an open house. So I just wanted to remind you once again, if you guys did not watch the previous video, that yes, I will be in Arizona this weekend and we'll be filming some cool content with the boys from Low Glow at their open house meet. And I'm gonna try to do another video with Austin with the Red GR86, the turbo one. So whole bunch of content I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna be bringing my camera, obviously. So we'll be shooting a whole bunch of stuff while we are in Arizona out of town. And yeah, if you guys are close in the area, come through say what's up come to the open house and yeah should be super fun but appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today uh truly means the world on you know the support you guys have been showing me on kind of the new style of vlogs i've been doing i've been really starting to film a lot of like day in the life stuff and just like a stuff aside from car stuff you know what i mean just to kind of like mix it up and just give you guys you know some variety i know the car stuff may get old so i'm glad you guys are liking kind of just the random stuff that I throw in the videos. Once again, appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys all have a good one today. Make it a good one, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.